Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in Illinois with a soft tart who just doesn't seem to want to learn. In fact, this is his third time caught illegally driving without any of the proper paperwork and uh, apparently he got arrested before but he still hasn't learned. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. How you doing? What's the nature of this, Mr. Cole? Oh well, the nature is that you don't have a valid driver's license. And how would you know that? Because I know who you are and I know you don't have a valid driver's license to the state of Illinois. Well, I don't consent to this conversation. Or this contract. Do you have any proof of Dude, it is not a contract. It is the law of Illinois to have a valid driver's license when you operate a motor vehicle on the public roadways. Yet, you have gone to court over this and you have failed to, uh, to present a uh, legal, logical argument for your case. So now here we are again. You really must love going to court because that's exactly where you're going to end up again if you continue this. Uh, but I'm sure you don't care anyway. If I give you any documents or say anything, can that be used against me later in a legal matter? Do you have any proof of insurance? If you don't have proof of insurance with you being suspended on the vehicle. So if you elect not to provide proof of insurance, then that's fine. Then I'm going to get the tow truck in route and we'll go that route. If I give you documents or say anything to you, can that be used against me later in the legal matter? Where are you, you don't know? You don't know? Well, it really all depends on if it's the proper documentation or not. If you don't have it, then, uh, well, you're about to find out about that by uh, getting your vehicle towed, and you will most certainly, uh, well, it will most certainly be used in you, against you in court of law. That's your registration. I just need the insurance. What's the nature of this inquiry? Okay, uh, he's already told you what it is. The uh, reasonable articulable suspicion is that you are driving without a license. But you consider that a victimless crime anyway. But uh, not according to the state of Illinois. It's still a crime to drive without a driver driver's license, you moron. But let's continue on with your stupidity, shall we? Do you have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I committed a crime yes, to, for, to pull me over? Yes, I do. You have insurance? What, what is it? You have insurance? If you don't want to provide it to me and you just want what, to what is it? back in court, that's fine. I'm what is it? Car. What's your, your, specific, your specific facts that I committed a crime that caused you to pull me over? I'm going to give you one more opportunity to provide me insurance on my the car. That's it. You're going to tow, my, yep. you're going to tow this car? Yep. If you can't on what authority? Insurance. State statute. So. Is the state statute the law if I'm not engaged in commerce? Yeah. Dude, under section D of that very law I showed earlier, it states that you have to have insurance and it doesn't make any calls on commerce. It pretty much states that everybody has to have insurance, you douche canoe. This uh, distinction between commerce and everything like that is getting rather old and holds no weight in the courts and never has. Show me a law. You show me a law that states this. I present all the facts here myself about uh, driving without insurance and everything like that. At least you can do is back up your own arguments, which I know you'll never do. It is. It is? I'm not operating in you commerce. Want, I'm want, in my private okay. business okay. affairs. So I'm going to tow your car. You're going to tow my car? If you don't provide me insurance. That expired in 2020. It's still valid. Make the call. <laughs> no, it's not. It's expired in 2020. Make the call. Insurance. I ain't calling him. That ain't my job. 
You're not doing your job. Okay. You're so un you unlawfully you detain me because you know I don't have a driver's license, which I don't need. Okay. I'm not engaged in commerce. Okay. And I have, I have, I have, I uh, have insurance on this. This isn't my vehicle. I know. How do you know? Because I just are you know. stalking me? I'm just. Are you guys know. laying in wait? Is there a conspiracy against me? Title eighteen, section two forty one. Oh boy, leave it to a soft heart to uh, believe there's a conspiracy out to get them and deprive them of their rights. Uh, yeah, okay. You are so important to everybody that they have got to take you down. Oh no! Whatever will you do? I have insurance. Okay. I'm yeah, I have insurance. Okay. Can you prove it? My wife has insurance. Yeah, I can prove it. Where's it at? It's right here. Okay. Where? Right here. It's expired. If you cannot, prove I can prove it. I I can stop. I can prove it. You're, you the stop's unlawful. Your stop is unlawful, okay. and it won't hold up. Okay. Fact of the matter is, you have current insurance right now. I do. Can you prove it to me right now? Yeah. Okay. Right here. That's expired. Well, hold on now. I got to find the right one. You know, it would be so much easier if you would just destroy the out-of-date documents. That way you won't have this issue at uh, a traffic stop. Just saying. that you be able to prove you have insurance, all right? So Illinois does not follow the Constitution then? Okay. Well, I'm not going to get into the sovereign citizen argument. That's not, who said okay. anything about a you're, sovereign you're, citizen? You're, you're I said, does the state of Illinois follow the you Constitution? Are suspended. If you can prove insurance, we won't have to tow it, okay? Well, well, yeah, Illinois definitely follows the Constitution because, well, if you've never heard of the Tenth Amendment, then you'd probably don't realize that, well, it gives the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. But shh, don't tell everybody. It's supposed to be a super secret cult thing that nobody but uh, normal people know about. And only and sovereign citizens don't bother to look up. So just keep your mouth shut about it, okay? If you can't prove insurance, we have to But see, here's the, here's the thing. I'm not going to argue I'm, with you. I'm that's, uh, that's operating it. in my private business affairs. I'm not engaged in commerce. I'm not gonna say, Therefore, I'm not under the jurisdiction of the National you Transportation make that Code. In court. We're not oh, going to have that well, argument here on the side of the road. Well, well, dude, you are technically correct because the uh, jurisdiction, according to that particular code that you are talking about, yeah, it puts it right back on the states. So you know what? You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. So please try again. Here's the thing. Uh, this is a custodial arrest. I was pulled over because he knew somehow mysteriously that I didn't have a driver's license, okay. which I don't need to operate in yes, my private in Illinois, business. Yes, you do. All well, right, Illinois so. is no different than Illinois said, should follow the Constitution. In, you said in two minutes they're going to have, they'll be able to confirm or deny these. They show up okay? at 830. This is my wife's vehicle. This is nothing, not my, this is not my it. vehicle. It's my wife's. And, and no, I, the insurance no, I have insurance, insurance call. I, that's expired. I, I understand it's expired, well, you don't have but they, yeah, I, I do have it, but, but see, required. lawfully, I don't even have to provide that to you because as I ask him, any documents that I give you or anything I say to you, can that be used against me later in a legal matter? I'm sorry? Any documents I, not, I give I, you again, or anything I, I, I say, I just, sir, can that just, be used against me later in a legal matter? At any point, I just need to see insurance here very shortly. It's a spending. yes or no answer. You, okay, listen to what I'm telling you. I don't want to tell your car. If you can't prove that you have insurance, it's I'm going to have yes to tell your no, I understand. I okay. got insurance, but grab answer your, my question. Grab your if, insurance if I, me, okay? If I I'm going to check back with you in a few minutes. So you don't want to answer me? Just grab that insurance for us, okay? Actually, I have to... I have to consent. It's contract, and I don't accept the contract, and I don't accept the conversation. Right. We'll give you two more minutes, okay? Well, what's the big rush? I've got insurance. My wife has insurance. We just need proof of it. Thank well, you, you know, it's eight twenty-eight. If y'all can wait just two minutes, you know, you unlawfully stopped me, Cole. You pulled me over for no reason. No reason. 
I don't need a driver's license to you're, operate you're in making, my private business hey, sir, affairs. Sir, this is what you guys don't understand. You're making an argument that can be made in court. It's not an argument. It's the law, you sir. You can make that argument in court, sir. We're not... We're, I'm not trying to I'm going to drag upset. your ass into court and into court, you into court, okay? and this time it's going to be different right, because sure. I'm not going to be in jail in Shelby County. I'll appear this time. Sure. You're getting an affidavit. Yeah. You're going to explain your jurisdiction well, so and why are you threatening me. Oh, the jurisdiction argument. I mean, uh, yeah, try that in court and see how far it takes you because it really doesn't work with sovereign citizens either because the no argument is that you are in the jurisdiction of the territory, of the officers in that territory. Now, you have to prove that you are not within their jurisdiction, and that is, well, in your case, very difficult to prove, considering that you apparently live in the area, and you were pulled over in the area. So that puts you in their jurisdiction, whether you like it or not, dumbass. One more minute. Oh, then what happens? I'll meet you over there. A little longer than a few minutes later. Any further questions? Do you not, do you not want to take your copy of the citation? I don't. Okay. Well, they're, they're yours. Not mine. All right. Well, we'll we'll uh, we'll leave them in the front window of your car there. You okay. Can, uh... You've been you've been issued them. Cap. Here's the deal. I don't even know where to begin. I don't know where this sovereign citizen crap comes from. That's not what I am. I'm an American just like you. Just like you two. Do you have any questions about the ticket? No. Okay. okay. All right. The traffic um, stop's done. You just you can't be driving anymore. Okay, you have to have a license driver drive the vehicle away. No, I don't have to have a license. Okay, well I'm then, not engaged in commerce. Here's the deal. If we, catch, you. if we catch you leaving here, we're going to actually arrest you and take you to the jail. Then on what grounds? Your car. You're suspended. What jurisdiction? You are suspended. State of Illinois, sir. Okay. State of Illinois is statute's not the law. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But, you know, Black's Law Dictionary, which is a dictionary that you idiots tend to follow, would state otherwise. So, you lose, try again next time, and next time, actually do some research instead of pulling shit out of your ass. Because it, may, it just makes your hands stink to high heaven and makes you look like a complete, uh, well, douche canoe at this point. If I'm not engaged it in commerce, annoying. you don't have jurisdiction. Captain. Well, that's just something you're going to have to argue to the judge in court. But you know what? I don't think he'll be on your side anyway because I'm sure these judges are getting tired of your sovereign stu citizen stupidity because you've been in court multiple times and you still haven't learned your lesson. But hey... I guess if your elevator doesn't go to the top floor, you're not. I guess you're not going to learn anything. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.